So what makes me different? I feel like what makes me different is the fact that I literally don't try to like, a lot of artists come in trying to imitate people. Like I'm really am like myself, like, like I don't try to be extra, super, super girly or like super hood. It's like, you can get, you will get either or with me. And um, I say what I want, so you never really know like what I'm gonna say on the song. Like I might start singing on the song. I might start rapping. You never know what's gonna come for me. Like you can't really put me in in like one pocket for real when it comes to like my music wise. Music wise. But um, when I'm in the studio, I'm a smoker. I don't really drink. Like being a rapper or whatever, like when you go out to the club, get free bottles and all that stuff. I be giving it, like I be drinking it, but I really be setting it off. I be giving away, like, yeah, you wanna get drunk, you wanna get drunk. Like, I'm not really a drinker, but in the studio, I smoke. Like, I be needing like a blunt, and I write before I go to the studio. So like, when I get there, I don't really waste my time having to really write my music while I'm there. So like. I write by myself. Like I'll go in the room and I don't want nobody around me. And I and I would just like focus on the song that I'm writing. And then I may make some changes when I get in there and see if it don't sound how I thought it would sound and I would change certain things. Or sometimes I do go, like if I'm out of town or something, I might like do like a little freestyle or something like off the top of my head and go in the studio just you know there might not be all the songs that make it to be singles but it's just the craft you know just the fun of it because it, it gotta be fun sometimes so majority of the time i write before i go to the studio and then i release everything like let it out um and i smoke I do sometimes, like I'm just bored. I might turn on Netflix or something. I don't really watch cable, but I, I got a show that I watch. But I can't really say movies. Like stuff just come to my head and I just I just jot it down. It's not like I, have, I, I get an inspiration. Like, you know what, I'm about to write a song about that. It's never really that. It's like, however I feel at the time, then that's what I write about. If I'm sad, then I will write like some something slow or something from the heart, like something deep. Or if I'm feeling good, just got my hair done, nails done and stuff, then I'm like talking shit about, you know, bitches and money and stuff like that. So it depends on how I'm feeling at the time. I really write off my mood because like I said, I used to express myself through writing when I was younger. Like I would get mad. And I were my like, I'm mad as fuck. I hate everybody in this house, shit like that. Or, you know, if I'm happy, I had a really good day. I can't wait to do this and that. Like, so that's how I express myself. So now I express myself that way still. Um, so I think social media affected me a lot because if I didn't, if I didn't post that, um, if I didn't post that freestyle that I posted, rapping to the challenge, it was like the Monica So Gone challenge. If I didn't do that and like kill it, and I got all those comments saying that like, oh my God, you should really rap, you should take it serious. I probably wouldn't have knew that I like had it in me to like really pursue being a rapper. So um, that was like a big thing for me. I think that that help a lot of people because you get to see what people really think about you. Cause people, if, if it's trash, people gonna tell you like, nah, this not it, sis. Like that's how they is these days on social media. They will tell you like, this not the one. We don't like this one. But just like when I drop stuff, they be like, here yeah, she did it again. This is that. Like like they be really fucking with it. So um, I'm grateful for social media. And um, even if we did have social media, I think I would have still, you know, tried to put something behind it, but I probably wouldn't have really had that, that, um, like really been sure about it. So that just made me know like, all right, I'm gonna take this stuff serious.